This winter weather is especially tough on the hundreds of thousands of people without power. No lights, no internet, TV, and probably most importantly, no heat. The outages stretch from the metro area deep into the Willamette Valley. Christelle Kumwe is here for us with an update. Christelle. Yes, Brittany, so earlier this evening, Portland General Electric announced that more than 200,000 of their customers were without power. For Pacific Power, that's more than 18,000 customers. Now, while some customers may be getting their power back earlier than expected, for others, it could take days. Been without power off and on since Friday night. The power did return this morning, um, late last night, early this morning, but then it did go off again about 1 p.m. The Smith family huddled in their Clackamas apartment Sunday, hoping the power would return. Instead came another challenge. A little bit after 3 o'clock, we heard this huge crash. I hop up immediately, I come outside, and this is what I'm, you know, I'm greeted with. I'm like, are you serious? The carport in their parking lot collapsed under the weight of all the snow and ice falling on top of several cars. If it's not taken care of, they could still collapse. And not only my vehicle, but my wife's vehicle and my neighbor's vehicle as well. And mind you, we're all veterans. If our vehicles are damaged, that's our lifeline. That's our livelihood. Smith says they have no idea when the damage will be taken care of. Unfortunately, the same goes for getting power back, according to Stephen Corson with PGE. I hate to say this, but for some customers, it could be as long as... 10 days wow. before we've got everybody back on. That, that's an extreme situation, um, but we need people to be prepared for the potential for some extended outages. It sounded like a war zone. Out Jennifer Weaver in Salem knows how life changes with no power. And then we saw three transformers blow, and it just was boom, boom, boom. She remembers transformers blowing and tree limbs falling on the roof when the power went out Friday night. And we were just heading to bed and it got pitch black. We had to locate flashlights and candles and um, the house temperature started going down and that was freezing. Weaver got her power back earlier than expected Sunday morning, but thousands like the Smiths are still waiting in the cold and dark. Clackamas County is one of the hardest hit areas. This PGE outage map shows as of 9 p.m. Sunday, 268 outages impacting over 100,000 people, each with their own worries about loved ones. I'm a father of four. I have four kids I have to be responsible for. If my power doesn't come back on and now I can't get out either, there's no one doing Uber right now, there's no one doing Lyft, there's no one coming out right now to help us. If you know anyone still waiting for power to be turned back on, you can head on over to the PGE website, and that's portlandgeneral.com. There you can put in your phone number and get an estimate of when you could possibly get that power turned back on. Brittany?